Hi, my name is Robert Shelley with Shelley Law, and my law firm assists dentists and dental associates with employment contract and independent contractor agreement issues. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, what is the average production for a dental associate in a dental practice. So I guess the first hurdle we need to overcome is to define what someone would consider production. Every contract is going to define production differently. Um, some dental contracts for associates uh, normally would only pay out a daily rate, for instance. I think that's pretty common for a dental associate. Uh, however, if you are paid some kind of percentage of the net collections of the practice, the daily average production can be um, illustrative in how much you ultimately make. So uh, there have been a few studies. This does vary based upon obviously the volume at your clinic, the types of procedures that you're doing. So it, it can vary greatly, but an average is an average. Uh, and so there was a study by uh, Dental Economics and they stated that $3,186 per day is the average amount of production for a dental associate. Uh, so well, what does that mean? Well, if you were paid, let's just say 30% of your production and you were generating $3,186, then just multiply that amount by 30% and you can kind of get a good indication of how much you would make on a daily basis. Um, I, I think kind of the normal daily rate amount for a dental associate, general dental dentistry, would be somewhere between 800 to 1200. And so if you just do the math on one third uh, or 30% of around 3,200, you know, it's on the, the higher end of that. Uh, it, <clears throat> it's normally not up to the dental associate if they choose either a daily rate or work on a productivity model. I think it's pretty risky for any dental associate to enter, enter into a new job based purely on production because you don't know what your volume is going to be, what types of cases you're going to get. I mean, maybe they throw you like the, <laughs> not to be crass, like the crap cases that don't, uh, you know, have a lot of collections associated with them. And then the owner is taking all of the, the great cases that may have a higher, uh, you know, collection level. Uh, you just don't know. So uh, normally it's less risky to enter into a new job where you get a fixed daily rate and then you can transition into some kind of productivity model after the fact, but going into a job where you've never been before, getting paid purely on production is really risky in my opinion. It's something you should probably avoid unless you're absolutely certain that the volume is there, that they have a rich and documented history of success, um, and that the person in charge, the owner of the practice, whoever it is, can like clearly demonstrate to you that as long as you are of average productivity, you're gonna make this amount. So uh, that's what production is uh, on a daily amount for a general dentist, around 3,200 per day. Um, one other thing you need to take into account is some practices, especially if you're doing like Invisalign starts uh, or things like that, the accounting on those is a little wacky. So you need to kind of discuss with the owner of the practice how those types of situations will feed into what your daily amount is. So hopefully that answers the question. If you have any questions about your employment agreement or an independent contractor agreement, feel free to contact my law firm at the phone number listed below in the description. Or you can reach us through our website that's listed below as well. All right, appreciate it. Thanks, bye.